Uh, good evening, white shaving enthusiasts and newbies. Welcome into the rabbit hole with Cal Shaves for your Sunday night shave. Tonight, I'm going to be using a whole bunch of different stuff. 5 eighths Barber's Notch. George Wastenholm, um from Sheffield, England. I just won this on a draw from uh, Cesar DeFranco from Ontario, Canada. So this will be the first try with this. Tonight, also using Ship Shape Soap. This is the Ready Room. Uh, this is just a brand new company. Just started up. Uh, this is Grapefruit. So we'll be giving this a try. It's towel based. He also sells 22 inch uh, Finest Badger. So we'll be giving that a try. That's been soaking in the Crystal Skull. Not sure if I'm going to use this or not, but I just got this. Uh, it's PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It is their new scuttle they've just got out. The friggin' thing is massive. I've got that uh, with hot water inside, and I've had uh, hot water sitting inside the bowl. So like I said, everything here is going to be new to me. None of this I've used before. And what I did just a bit ago there is um, Caesar has already sent this honed and sharpened and all good to go and stropped. But I ran it across drop that I've got here. This is one I just bought from Ed Monk at Spiffle Grooming. And this is the three inch uh, Cordo, or, or Cordo, Cordovan. Uh, total drop length of 22 inches uh, and total length overall of about 33 and a half inches. Um, and actually I'm going to put a clip in here of that using that earlier. Canvas on that side, cotton canvas on that side. And cordovan leather on that side. Like I said, just beautiful strop. It was great to use it. Like I said, you'll see the clip of that. So, wait, like I said, this is all new stuff to me. So, let's give this a go. Oh. Like I said, this is a tallow base. I'm just going to load up this brush. I was watching Distorted Cheeser the other week. He did a video on how to make a great lather. Learned a lot from it. Helped me uh, use my. Uh, Badger Samogue Owners Club the other week. I should have bloomed this first. Get this. Get my brush loaded up. And then we'll put her in the scuttle there and really make a great lather with it. Now this brush, like I said, it hasn't been broken in yet. I just give it a good wash in palm olive dish detergent yesterday. I let it soak and give it a good wash out. Normally I don't like a 22. Normally I prefer a 24 millimeter knot. The splay on this, I just couldn't believe how splayed that's got out. So getting that nice and built up on there. Still haven't figured out the settings on this phone yet, so I so know the, the uh, exposure keeps going in and out. Don't know how to uh, adjust it yet to manual, so I, when I figure it out, I will definitely change that so it's less annoying. So I think we got a decent load on there. And I take it to the PAA scuttle. Like I said, this scuttle is just friggin' massive. It's the new one he's got out. Like I said, you can see what we're building up in there. Just a bit more water. We're just going to do a two pass. It's about uh, almost 10 o'clock Atlantic my time. I want to try and get this edited and up tonight. And then I'm at a dope truck in tomorrow. I'm headed down towards uh, Springfield, Massachusetts for Wednesday around noon time. I'm not sure what the reload is will be after that. Be back and so be back sometime later on Sunday. Do my Christmas giveaway draw. That'll be at five o'clock Eastern. Uh, I will put notes on that in the description down below. And then uh, Monday's the 24th, Tuesday's Christmas Day. It's been a nice, quiet Christmas Day with my girlfriend and her daughter, 
and possibly back at a Chris or a boxing boxing day. Just adding a touch more water to this, like I said, getting a great lather built up. So this bowl is so deep. Let's see how this is gonna go. The scent on this, like I say, is just beautiful grapefruit. Uh, what it was the other day is I've had friends of mine, well, how'd you hear about this company? It's just new. And truthfully, uh, they started following me on Instagram. So I looked at their Instagram page and looked at their website. And definitely curious about it. So I put it in order right away. I mean, they're selling these by, uh, there's a, it's a five ouncer. Like I said, brand new company. Just started up. They're out of Annapolis, Maryland. And uh, he is a Navy better. So he's gearing this. Use it as an homage or paying homage to the military, to the Navy. Um, his sense, his uh, product, or his soap names. Are excited to homage to that. I've got a list because, like I said, I've got a very short memory. What he's got in right now, and like I said, I'll post a link down below. Uh, Liberty Call, Navigator, uh, Leatherneck, Mr. Roberts, which is his unscented, Patreon, and Ready Room, which is this here, the Great Fruit Scent. So, give this a try. For a brand new brush, this is just working really well. You guys know me well enough to know that usually I use synthetics. It's only really because of watching Jason, uh, Jason Bryant, Distorted Dad Shaving, his video there recently about how to make a great lather. But I've gotten much better at it. And like I said, the scent on this, it's, it's, uh, it's light. But based on a video I did uh, recently or a little while ago, like Grandpa Shaving out of uh, Canada, I understand that with essential oils, you can't get too carried away with, uh, with the citruses and all that stuff. There's just issues with them, so you gotta go light with them, you can't go as heavy, so. My first pass with this, like I said, it's fairly light, but a five eighths. And let's see how it goes. So far, extremely mild. Give that a good clean up, make sure our fingers are not slippery. I do not want to slip. But several days ago, as usual, that's just a bad spot I had from before. So that's not from this. I'm gonna keep the mustache. Girlfriend likes it. And it'll get longer and I'll be able to shape it better. But so far I'm liking it. She's liking it, so we keep it. That's something I think a lot of the guys learn very quickly once they get into wet shaving. Is that uh, you know you may like a scent, but if your better half doesn't, it's not gonna be used very much or stay around very long. So I use my weaker hand. I'm left I'm left-handed, so my weaker hand is my right hand. Good stretching. Really liking the edge on that blade. That's got a really nice edge. And like I said, 
it just cleaned that through several days growth like nothing. Like I said, I get a chance to shave once or twice a week. So this is just going through this like nothing. Yeah, very smooth array. Very smooth edge on that. Very smooth. Really liking that. Liking this soap a lot. Wow. Yeah, so like I said, it's a brand new company. And uh, be curious to see what they do. I'll definitely be looking to buy some of their other scents. And like I said, yeah, that's really nice. So, yeah, great edge on that razor, uh, on that uh, on that blade there, Caesar. Really nice edge. So, with the face again, real quick. Next, I'm going to try and keep these videos relatively short. I don't want to keep, you know, sometimes I end up running about 20 minutes, so. That's about, you know, 15, 20 minutes is about the best I can do, so. Dealing with some weather outside, we got a bit of a snowstorm hitting Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. It's only about one degree, right around the freezing mark, so about one Celsius. That's about 32, 33 Fahrenheit. But like the idea of keeping the lather warm. Like I said, we haven't got another real deep cold yet. Gonna put a little bit more water in that brush, just a touch. Watch Geo Fat Boy, he does a figure eight. To make his lathers on his uh, on his face. But no, the girlfriend and I are just gonna like sit enjoy a nice quiet Christmas. Her parents are snowbirds and they're in Florida. And I think they stay down there until sometime in March or April, so she's gonna go visit them and I believe in February she's taken off for a few days to go visit them. Be a nice break from her. I'm gonna be stuck up here driving in great Canadian winter, I mean New England winter in the States, so I get ready for another pass. I might end up doing three, we'll just see how it how it goes, but uh I don't concern myself as much with with a cross and against the green with straight razors. It's the way my beard grows, it's a little bit harder to do. Like I said, that's not a weeper from this, it's just a bad spot on my face there I had for the last few days. Went over to her place tonight there, and we started watching a TV series. I guess I'm a little late on the draw. I was listening to the radio there, XM radio on the truck the other day. And they were interviewing, I believe his name is Chris Murphy. He's the character the Netflix series Narcos is based on. So, we started watching that, and I'm really enjoying it. Going really careful around the Adam's apple. Don't want to do it. Uh, don't want to cause any scars. Clean this up a little bit.
Yeah, so guys, if you've been watching my other videos, you know that I'm doing a giveaway this weekend, this Sunday the 23rd at uh, 5 o'clock Atlantic. I will post a link to that other video. So, please check it out. And that'll be for a giveaway that I'll get done after the holidays, so. Yeah. Yeah, two pass. We're going to be good to go with that. That's almost right to the skin. A little bit more than that, but I'm not going to worry about it. So it's getting late my time. And uh, so got a few things to do. Get ready to go truck in the morning. So we, we're going to pause this and we're going to do a cleanup and then we'll come back. So see you guys in a few minutes. All cleaned up. So, by the way, what do you guys do? Do you guys do a cold water rinse? Do you guys do a warm water rinse? I know a lot of guys are talking uh, cold water. Uh, I think Doug Smythe, or uh, sorry, Matt Basarsic, does a cold water shave. I tried it once, I didn't like it. So, just put in the comment section below. What are you guys using for, uh, do you guys do cold water shaves, hot water shaves? Do you guys do cold water rinse or hot water rinse? So, just curious. Topic for discussion. So, anyway, guys, afterwards, Barbado Moisturizing Razor Bump Therapy. Um, Jason Bryan talks a lot about this. Other watch do as well. And uh, got me got me into using it just recently. Jason Bryan is Distorted Edge. Um, the scent on this, like I said, it's strong on the uh, rubbing alcohol on the isopropyl, but very subtle lemon after. But the moisturizing is just top notch. If you've got a weeper, you are going to know. So we'll let that sit on there for a minute. And like I said, the initial, uh, it's strong. It dissipates really quickly, but it is strong. So. Yeah. So I think that'll do it for tonight, guys. I'll try and get this edited and get it up. By the way, bought these shelves a couple months ago at Ikea in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. And if you're ever interested in what I have on here, I try to change it up periodically. Uh, I'm going to start listing, or the last couple of videos I've started posting um, in the comments section below, the description rather, what I've got on the shelf. You know, uh, being a strop I got from Fender Hand, or the Vintage, the Spiffo, you know, the other stuff. Try to change it up periodically. And like I said, if you guys are ever interested in what's on, you know, what I have for, uh, for gear or whatever, just uh, send me a, you know, send me a message. Ask away. Um, like I said, if you guys have ideas for what I can do for a shave, I'll do my best. Uh, guys, if I had to have had a number of guys there request stuff, and happy to oblige if I possibly can. So, anyway, guys, um, remember to uh, or to put in for the uh, giveaway. It says only a few days away. Today's Monday, so uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That was less than six days to get in on that if you're interested in it. And like I said, what it's going to be. 12 ounce uh, jar, Luther Lather out of PEI Canada, Prince Edward, I Prince Edward Island. Um, I'll buy you the five ounce tub. Like I said, he's got about five different scents up there right now, I believe. And uh, like I said, any comments or suggestions you have, good, bad, and different, uh, post them uh, in the comments section below. I enjoy reading them and I uh, do my best to respond to each and every one. Uh, one of the guys recently uh, put a comment as a challenge that if I get a thousand subscribers, this has to go. So, dude, if I can get a thousand subscribers all legit, no problem. We'll shave that off. It'll take a couple years for it to grow back. But, uh, yeah, it's a neat little challenge. I got a kick out of it. So, anyway, you guys enjoy what's left of your weekend. And, uh, yeah, have a wonderful week. We'll see you again in a few days. You take care.